All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for independent 2024 action thriller film called Lights Out, starring at Scott Atkins and Frank Arellos. Now here's the plot. A drifting ex-soldier turns underground fighter with the help of a just-released ex-con, pitting them against a corrupt boss, corrupt cops, and a hired killers. Now here are some of the cast. Honestly, this film was just okay. And it not even would go as far as to say just okay. Um, mostly the story, um, as the story felt a little sluggish and a slightly dull. It had some cool war flashbacks with the color grading and sound design. However, there was scenes that the score overpowered the dialogue. Lucky I forgot to turn off the subtitles from the last film I watched on, on Apple um, specifically. And the whole film was shot with this, with the director freehanding it with the camera, so it was a bit distracting a lot of the time. There were times where it wasn't, but it made the fight scenes very feel like they were completely off from what it was. You know, kind of like uh, like there's there's a separate narration of the choreography and the movement, so it made everything feel like this. The actress that played the cop, her approach to the soft-spoken character was so out of place, she didn't feel like she fit at all. Uh, when I mean soft-spoken, I mean she had this really, really soft, soft voice and mannerism. And it just, it, she was supposed to be this very, um, I can't figure the word for some reason, but uh, intimidating intimidating the whole time and it's just like not only if she was just like a side character she so totally did not fit in at all um it was it was just off uh i think she was the worst part of this film from my personal opinion when frank's character would hit someone they did the mortal Kombat x-ray shooting thing but looked cheap and really not needed and definitely out of place. Now, I'll try to find a picture of it if I can. I would have to go back and watch uh, and take a photo of it. But I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. So, But I'll put up something. Um, but Frank's acting was honestly the only good person in here. Uh, other than um, the other guy for his name, all son. Um, everyone else was either okay or just bad. Especially the female. Especially the female was bad. Um, but here's my honest rating. Again, the film overall was below okay. Uh, it did have some good moments, but I saw too many flaws in this specific one. Um, but what are your thoughts? Leave them down below. Um, so the next thing I'm going to be putting out is probably going to be Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know yet. Everything can change, but no series this next coming week. So unfortunately, or the next week after, um, which sucks, but whatever. Um, so, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love. Most importantly, skull.